Good morning, world. I'm feeling in a healthy mood today. I'm going to start this morning with a green juice. We managed to find a blender, a proper blender, that the house owner had stashed away. Gave it a good clean, got all the ingredients out, and going to make a proper green juice. This is something that I'm definitely excited about getting into nutrient-packed drinks and foods that we can put together ourselves every day and know that we're really benefiting ourselves. I don't think I'll ever be an 100% health freak. There's a happiness in not having to be very restricted by a diet. But I do like to experiment with foods. And this is a great way to start. I'm sure as our bodies react to these kind of things that we're putting inside, it will make us more and more excited and into it in the future. But first things first, we need a home. How's the greenery? Nice, yeah. almost finished. Better with the new blender? Definitely, yeah. Still quite thick and foamy, but it's not like a soup. Anymore. I think you can't <laughs> avoid that. Crunchy. I don't think it's going to be possible to avoid that entirely because you need to eat the pulps. Tastes good though, I like the ginger. It's my favourite bit. No, it is a good drink. What's Eden up to? Eden, you weren't in the vlog yesterday, were you? Yeah, I know, I'm feeling a bit upset about that. I cannot believe that you did not put me in the vlog. Well, we were out all day. You yeah, without me. I'm not pleased. I'll let him defy all the greats. Come. I just checked the time code on that clip and it took Eden one whole minute to listen to us and get out of bed. <laughs> that is one hell of a naughty dog. What's wrong with you, Eden? He's like a teenager. Yeah, a whole minute for both of us to get you out of bed. Have you turned into a moody teenager? Yeah. You naughty. What's happening to me? In the bath. Oh my goodness. You need to go for a walk first. Yeah, I'll go for a walk and then I'll go for a bath. Look at her leg. <laughs> That's my yoga leg. Okay, he's eating Eden's leftovers. Well, Eden's enjoying that. Yeah, it's really nice. 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 You might remember a few days ago, I gave Eden my chicken. And I think that's really made her fussy. She loves chicken. And all of a sudden, she won't eat her tuna, she won't eat her biscuits. All she wants is chicken. She has not eaten properly since that day. She's very fussy like this. She's a very routine monster. If she eats the same thing every day at the same time, she's fine. But the minute you introduce something else, that's it. Well, she won't be getting that treat again anyway because we're not going to be buying any more chicken, especially not out here in Thailand. Plan for today. Got some work to catch up on. Got to do some these tiny moments stuff. Yes, I've got a vlog to edit. Yes. And we didn't book our flights yesterday. Nope. Because we watched Game of Thrones instead. Uh, I feel really childish. <laughs> and we're going to do it now. Yes. As soon as we get back, because I don't want the flight prices to change. Right now they're quite good with Thai Airways. We can fly back one way for £395 yeah, each. £400. About £400 each, which is cheaper than what we paid when we came out here well, four years ago. Yeah, and the other option was a Air Malaysia flight, which was £200 each, but you have to do a, like, a 12 hour stop in Kuala Lumpur and we can't do that with Eden, so. Also, we have to fly Thai Airways because the vet has told us to because of the cargo rules yeah. in London Heathrow. Look who's over there, Eden. Look who it is. <laughs> it's your friend Becky, your walking partner. She's following you and weeing on your wheeze. <laughs> In recent weeks, so I've received quite a few emails from subscribers asking about Baki and her welfare. But you don't have to worry about Baki. She has about six people in the street yeah. that look after her. 
put food out for her. Put food out, water. Yeah. They're leftovers. Quite self sufficient. She's yeah. lived on the street since it was very first built. I would say she was so about, about nine, yeah. nine years old. She's a hardy street dog, really, <laughs> and she wouldn't do well in a domestic environment. No. But she's claimed this street as her own, and I think she's got a little bit of a comfortable lifestyle, to be honest. So yeah. don't worry about her. She's well looked after for a street dog, definitely. Yeah. And I don't think she could be kept as a pet, especially now. No, you'd so. never be able to put her on a lead and walk her. No. What have you found? Look, bones. And a skull. What on earth was in there? Yuck. No wonder why this root smells like death. There's a sting wash. Hmm? You can have stinks. It's hot in here, isn't it? Yes. Not at all. I'm making Sasha a brown toast. Well, this is like rye sour bread with honey. And I'm going to have some oats now because a green juice is not enough on its own. And the time is here to book our flights. Out of all the direct flights, Thai Airways was the cheapest in the end. £389 each to fly direct 12 hours with Thai Airways in economy. So we're just going to book it now. According to the Animal Centre in London Heathrow, Eden has to be there for four hours to sort out her paperwork. Well, they aim to sort out long haul international flights within four hours, and if it's like a local flight or European flight, it's within an hour. So okay. So I have four hours to wait once I get out of my box. But apparently, they put them on a little patch of grass or something, they can run around. Yeah, they get them out of the box when they pick them up and give them food and water, and there's a grass area that they can. Use. Yeah, that sounds all right. And then I'll just wait for my mum and dad to come and get me. <laughs> and the flights are booked. It's all done. Not sure how I feel. Like nothing. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel like anything. <laughs> we actually booked for our meal choice on the way back. Normally we've never chosen one before, we just get what they give us, but we've gone for the vegetarian meal on the way back. So let's see what that is. We are heading out for a late lunch. Flights are booked, my video for tomorrow is done and it's exporting currently. Just got to do the thumbnail when I get back and that will be all done for tomorrow. Jay's been emailing the vet about Eden and the process um, of getting her through the airport and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go and see him tomorrow I think and sort all that out. But right now we're both very hungry and we are heading to Neem Trees to grab some food. Right, we're here. Hopefully it won't be too busy because it's gone way past lunchtime. Let's get some food. We've both gone for Thai food today, but it is a Thai bistro. Sasha got had the pal guy with a fried egg and I got fried rice with pineapple and cashew nuts with chicken and a smoothie. <laughs> Sasha was boring and she just got a water. <laughs> there were actually no vegetarian options on this menu, so even when we tried to look for something veg, nothing on there, so went for a chicken option today. As did I. <laughs> <laughs> Food came out surprisingly fast, didn't it? Yeah. What did you get then? Here's the pad kapow. I asked for my egg well done. Yes. Well done it is. Looks, Looks nice. nice, yeah. And here is my lemon mint smoothie. It's actually quite big, but I hate glacier cherries. So I'll be putting that to the side. <laughs> I do want the mint. My dish has just arrived. It comes with that little pork fluff on the top. That is pork, isn't it, Sash? Yeah. Let's enjoy our food. We've migrated into the air conditioning in the cafe next door. We decided to get a passion fruit pie 
to eat now. This is the passion pie. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Chocolate base, I think. Hello. Hello. You snuck in again. I was asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> I'm very nice and soft. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> mm, smell nice. Smell like shampoo. The total bill for the food and the cakes, the takeaway cakes, was 695 baht. I made a start on the chapter two of these tiny moments today and hopefully have it done very soon. <sighs> Let me try and describe how humid it is in Huahin right now. If you were to walk into a steam room in a gym, that's what it feels like walking into this kitchen after being in the air conditioning. Ridiculous. I opened a cupboard to get something out, Eden's paperwork, and it was like, woof, steam. <laughs> That's what it felt like anyway. Eden is all booked in to go see the vet tomorrow. She doesn't actually need to be there, but we're gonna take her anyway. We have to buy her a new crate, a medium-sized crate, which we mentioned before, and we need to set up some paperwork with the vet so that she's all ready to go back to the UK without any problems. He's told us we need to bring with us Eden's original pet passport, which is basically just her blue document, which is full of all her vaccinations to say that she had her yearly jabs. A picture of Eden, dimensions of the box, vet will do that. Weight of Eden, vet will weigh Eden when we go and see him. And I think that's it. Oh, our flight tickets as well. And a copy of our passport as well. And Eden's rabies certificate. So those are the things that we need to take to the vet tomorrow and then he will go down to the Bangkok airport specialists and get them all aware of what's happening with Eden and sort the paperwork out so that when we leave, boom, all we have to do is go to the airport, one of the staff members from this vet will be there to meet us, they'll take Eden, they'll take her to the cargo section and then all we have to do is check in like normal and then receive Eden at the Heathrow Animal Centre in London. That's what has to happen from here. So I'm just getting Eden's paperwork out and then I'm gonna take a picture of her from a few different angles and we'll get that printed on the way down to the vet tomorrow. If you're wondering why I was walking around in circles, it helps me to think. I tend to do that. <laughs> Even when I'm vlogging, I'm always walking around. It helps me to stay on track. Right, so sort out Eden's papers. Two weeks and five days, that's it. That's the time remaining to us in Thailand. The amount of sunsets we're gonna see, the amount of Eden walks we're gonna do, the amount of sounds we're gonna hear, drone flights, everything. And then, off to a new adventure. I'm feeling good about it. Everyone back in the UK is super excited to see this furry monster. I'm really looking forward to seeing my mum and dad and my brothers. I miss my brothers. I haven't spent enough time with them over the last few years, obviously. Although they've all come to see us in Thailand, so it's been nice. It's been good that they've got to experience all the different stages of our life out here, from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai, Bangkok and Hua Hin. Somebody from my family and somebody from Sasha's family has been out and is able to experience some of that with us. I'm also really looking forward to exploring Portugal and finding out all the things that make it a great country so that when my family comes to visit, I can show them. I've always been a bit of a trailblazer in the family, I guess, doing things that perhaps others wouldn't do. 
risks that others wouldn't take. I've always been on this search for this contentment or happiness and it's led me here. It's led me to all the places and all the things that we're doing right now. And I feel like we're going to be doing the same thing in Portugal. We're going to be exploring things and finding new places to take people and it's exciting. I'm not sure how much everything will change when we have the seed, but I do know that we're not going to stop traveling if we can. We are going to be home based but we will go on road trips definitely and we will be exploring the food and exploring nature just exploring in general trying to stay happy trying to make the most of what the world has to offer because if you don't what's the point of being alive that's how we feel about it and it's all very exciting Eden's eating she's finally realized she's not getting any chicken it officially took two days for her to go back to eating her normal food which I'm very pleased about because when she stops eating it normally means that she's sick and now is not the time for Eden to be sick <laughs> she needs to be healthy for her flight home good girl you eat all your tuna? Mm, you're licking your lips <laughs> you like your fish again? we're just gathering all the documents we need for tomorrow for Eden's meeting with the vet took some pictures of her one from the front and one from the side. I think that's probably all they'll need. I don't think they need a picture of Eden's butt. And I'm gonna get a copy of our passports and stuff and get it all sorted out so that I can get them to print it out while we're there tomorrow at the vet. You did very well on your photo shoot, didn't you? I needed a bit of help to keep you in place. Let's see what's happening in the food situation. To give this a little stir. It's like an omelette, what's happened to it? There we go, there's the lentils. Just need to add a bit of coriander and let this cook for a little bit longer, I think. And then we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today. Don't forget to subscribe to these tiny moments. There's a link down below in the description for you to do that. We click right here. And if you've got the time, come and see us tomorrow. See ya. It smells good. Chickpeas taste funny. Chickpeas taste a bit funny. Not too bad. <laughs>